Now at 6, we continue our back-to-school coverage. Students in the state's three largest cities, Providence, Warwick, and Cranston, return to class today. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima tells us why many of their teachers are anxious about starting the new year. With the excitement of a new school year comes new staff positions and contract uncertainty in Providence. As 24,000 Providence Public School students walk through the doors for the first day of school, teachers are beginning the year under a veil of uncertainty. We're moving in the right direction. We're talking. The district's collective bargaining agreement expired five days ago, forcing the teachers to start the school year without a contract. Now, we're anxious to get something done. We want something done right away. Uh, we're making progress. We're talking with them. We think that our, uh, our teachers are going to be, we'll have a contract, I think, hopefully in the, in the coming months. But Providence isn't alone. Neighboring city Warwick started its third consecutive school year without a teacher contract. Warwick's a little bit different. I mean, they, they have a situation where their enrollment has actually been declining and financially it, it's, it's challenging. Providence is very different. A new contract on the way, along with a new staff position. School culture coordinators will be hired at all seven Providence middle schools to help engage and excite those students about learning. The research shows nationally that that's where we're starting to lose kids across the country, actually, is they're disengaging from school at that age. So what we're asking ourselves is how do we better engage those middle school students? School officials are working directly with community members to find and hire strong culture coordinator candidates. The mayor says another priority is fixing the physical buildings. He recently unveiled an investment of up to $400 million to be used over the next 10 years to fix up the city's schools. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. And our back-to-school coverage continues all week long on air and online on WPRI.com.